I'm Mary Rapp, and I'm an artist. I work in sculpture, monoprints, painting, mixed media, and a lot of drawing. And I feel as though I've done it all my life. But actually, thinking back, I think it started at about age eight. Actually, one of the, my earliest skills that I remember being praised for was my ability to cut things out. I went to an extension school and studied with a very witty artist named Fred Conway and worked on from there and decided to specialize in art when I went on to university. I don't mind at all you asking me how old I am. Actually, I am about 87. In less than one month, I will begin my 88th year. When asked uh, about the painters who have influenced me the most, certainly there's a long list and I can go back and discuss many of them at another point, but I want to say right away that Max Beckmann certainly was the primary influence on my work. And this is the one I said that Gil says is definitely me. And that was done in 1949, um, just after their trip back to Amsterdam. So it could be. I'm fascinated by his, uh, his landscapes in, that he did in America. Now these are the things that fascinate me, these very vertical landscapes and cityscapes. experience of being with him, I think the process, just observing the process, had more of an influence on me than ultimately his methods of working, because his main concern was the control of space and depth, and as you can see from my work, I have uh, concentrated more on the tension be uh, between the objects. Although I am concerned to establish the front plane, I am not necessarily interested in managing space, and he was obsessed with this. But the process of watching the creative mind at work, I think, influenced me more than anything. And his method of teaching was quite unorthodox. Instead of talking to me about composition, color values, and things, he would simply pick up a brush fill it with black paint and work over the surface of what I had just painted. He would tell me more or less what he was doing and I could see what he was doing and follow the process of his thinking. And this has become something that I've gone on digesting for years actually. Often in the middle of a painting I'll think, oh, of course, that's what he meant, you know. It's been a, a continuing process. It's a slightly puzzling question to me. 
because I have in no way any impulse to stop. I, I am still looking for my ideal expression. And more than that, I think for the first time in my life I can give this my first priority. Because as I began work as a young woman, there were lots of conflicting things in my life. Um, then I had to form relationships and I went through motherhood. And there were always a set of duties that I, I grew up expecting to have to perform. And now for the first time, though I still have responsibilities other than this, my first priority totally is my work and the time I have to myself in this studio, which is such a wonderful space. These are monoprints, and they are a series entitled The Removal of the Birds, and it's something that I felt very emotional about. We had these wonderful egrets and cranes that nest in the par one of the big parks here, the Parque Juarez, and they nested in eucalyptus trees and were sort of annoying in a sense that they did mess up the park for the people. So the city decided that they would get rid of them. And I got so upset about it, and I just spontaneously started doing these monoprints. And this, I don't know in what order, except I do know which one was the last one. But um, they, they are the most emotional things I think I've done in, in a long time, and have a lot of qualities that I still very much like. Unfortunately, I've sold all of them. It's this figure that recurs through all of them in a, in a sorrowing pose with the hand held in front of the face and the imagery of the birds. Uh, this is perhaps the third of them. And uh, the technique here is a uh, combination. It's really mixed media. It's monotype. And then I have gone back with, over that with watercolor as in, the, in each of these cases. This one, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm particularly fond of, I, I, I don't know, to me it's the most emotional uh, of them all. And I like the flight of the birds, I like the composition in all of these, as a matter of fact. This is the last one, and is perhaps the starkest, and I, I like its sort of calligraphic qualities. There isn't a preconceived image in my mind ever of where a work is going to go when I'm finished with it. I, again, am never quite sure of this, except that I feel it's a doorway into another form of perception. Then I find things, see things that I could never have seen in the course of my daily daily living. Some people have described the process as a walk for a walk's sake, in contrast to going, say, from here to the store. You are just walking and letting whatever happens happen.